In this training, let's walk through how we would use a QR code that when scanned would prompt the user to fill out a contact form complete with their phone number and email address that would in turn generate an email to them and automatically add them to my text marketing list in Project Broadcast. I'm Deb Rayley with the Social Tech Team. I'll walk you through this step by step and explain to you how and when you might use this application. When it comes to using QR codes, it's important to remember that QR codes are really designed for something that's placed on a physical item. It could be a picture that gets scanned at a vendor event. It could be a receipt that shows up in the packaging material of your product. It could be a postcard that you mail out to your customers or prospects. A QR code is not ideal to use as a social media post. And the reason for that is because most people will see it on their mobile device which is the same device that they need to use to scan the code. So keeping all that in mind, let's get started. Now for the sake of simplicity, I'm showing you Canva and how you can generate a QR code. Inside of Canva, if you click on the apps feature on the left and you type in QR code generator, you'll see an assortment of apps that pop up. We'll just go with this second one for QR code. You'll need to enter in the URL to generate the code. This URL comes from your Google form that you're going to create. Your Google form is going to be pretty simple, just asking for their first name, their last name, their email address, and certainly their phone number. Their mailing address is completely optional. Also note in the Google form area of the settings, if you scroll down, there's an area that says after submission confirmation message. You want to be sure to edit this so that it sounds more like you speaking and it includes your branding. Now, when someone completes your form, if you click on the responses, you'll see where it says view in sheets or link to sheets. This is going to link to your Google Sheets. So you'll want to activate this by clicking this area. You'll notice in Google Sheets, there's a header and that header has words that reflect exactly what is on this form. Let me go ahead and complete a form so you can see how it populates into Sheets. All right, so I've entered some information on the form and you can see it automatically populates here into Google Sheets. Now I want this information in Google Sheets to generate both an email and to generate a project broadcast contact. So to do that, I need to pop over into Zapier. First, let's do our project broadcast contact. In Zapier, I'll click Create and I'm going to create a new zap. The trigger is the event that starts this connection. So my trigger is not my Google form, it's actually my Google Sheet. So if I type in Google Sheet, on the right side of my screen, the event is when a new row is added. Remember, when someone fills out my form, their information is showing up in a row. So when a new row is added, that's what I want the trigger to be. Make sure that it is connected to your Google account. And now we need to focus on the trigger. So which spreadsheet should this zap be looking for? Remember, I named my zap right up here at the top, something that I would remember. And it's this one right here. And which worksheet? Well, I only have one worksheet. So I'll click on the first responses. And because I'm working with Project Broadcast on this, I want this column, when they enter in the phone number, I want that one to be the one that really triggers this one. So now it's going to test the trigger to make sure that there's information there. And sure enough, there it is. There's the information and I can just confirm that by looking at my sheet so I know that this portion of the zap is working. So I'll continue with the selected record. So the next thing I want to have happen is when that happens, when the row is populated, I want it to connect to Project Broadcast. So if I search in Project Broadcast, the event I want to actually find the contact first. So I want to see if this contact exists. For the phone number, I want it to pull from that phone number field. That's what it's going to be searching. And then I want to select the box to create a contact if it does not yet exist. And for to create a contact, I want to pull in 
the first name, the last name, and for the tag, because I'm running a contest, in this case, I want the tag to include win. There are extra fields on my form that aren't necessary, so I'll click to remove the fields and I'll say continue. Test the step and we know that this works. Now back in Project Broadcast, I can see that that phone number has now received the tag of win because I added that in. So let's say I'm doing a drawing. If I came over to contests and went to my win contest and I wanted to add a participant using the tag win, I can now pull those people in and run my contest. That might be an example of how you might use a QR code, just taking it one step further, but simply having them scan the code, fill out the form, and having it go into Zapier, through Zapier, into your pro to create a project broadcast account. Now, how would we use that same information or that same process to get them into my email list? Let's take a look. Following those same steps to create a Zap, I'm gonna go through my Google Sheets. Row is added. I want it to, <laughs> there we go, new contacts, first worksheet, these are the exact same steps. And in this case, for my trigger column, I'm going to use email address. Because if they don't provide an email address, I don't want this zap to run. All right, so we know this part is working. So I'll continue with the selected record. So let's say you use the email service Flowdesk. Enter in Flowdesk, choose an event, select your segment, select the field that has the email address. So now when someone scans that code, I have two different zaps running. One will put them in Project Broadcast, one will put them in my email list. There you have it, now everything is automated. So when someone scans my QR code and fills out my contact form, They'll receive a text from me and they'll be on my email list. Everything has been automated and now I can spend my time enjoying getting to know these new members of my community. Hope this helps.